Like everybody else, I thought I was smart. But I didn't see the danger until the very last minute. We were looking for a place to hold the science fair dinner, and none of us was looking for Fester. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Miss Temple tried to warn us, but we didn't want to listen. Foodborne illness, what most of us call food poisoning, was just another topic we had to study in school. I'm supposed to meet some friends? Until now. Bonnie? Nightmare. You're telling me. That's what's giving you nightmares, isn't it? That poster. It's not the picture, it's the idea. Food poisoning. If it's scaring you, let's take it down. No. Fester can strike any time we're careless. But I'm not going to be careless. He's not going to get me. He wasn't going to catch me in the danger zone. Seriously. Even in the science club, it wasn't cool to worry about foodborne illness. Where were you yesterday? We waited over an hour at the hot spot. Annie got there right after we left. But I'm not going back. Who recommended that place anyway? I did. My uncle owns it. Well, tell him that we'll be holding science fair dinner someplace else. Why? The food's not that bad. You ate there? Sure. Lots of times. But not yesterday. Kenny and I had copes, that's all. Good. I wouldn't want you to get food poisoning. Why are you always such a weenie? I had a roast beef sandwich yesterday, and I didn't get sick. Then why aren't you eating lunch? If you're hungry, I got a sandwich from my uncle's place. Same thing you had yesterday. Mm. What's wrong with her? I don't know, but until we're sure, you better not eat this sandwich. The school was concerned about our safety, and it hired a part-time security guard. Unfortunately, he was a bully who liked to throw his weight around, and he sure wasn't concerned about foodborne illness. Why don't you go see the nurse? You look awful. Thanks. Now we're even. That sandwich you ate yesterday could be making you sick. You've got food poisoning on the brain. Why don't you just go and leave me alone? I wasn't surprised that Bonnie wouldn't listen to me. In class, she seldom paid attention to Miss Temple. Bacteria are microorganisms. Tiny, living things that can only be seen through a microscope. They exist everywhere. In air, soil, water, on your hands even on your skin and inside the human body. Bacteria reproduce by dividing in half. In one day, a single bacterium can divide and multiply into millions of bacteria. Bacteria can be either helpful or harmful. Can anyone give me an example of a food with helpful bacteria? Mark. Yogurt. Right. Bacteria help turn milk into yogurt. But bacteria can also be harmful. And harmful bacteria can contaminate food. If we eat food that's been contaminated, then we might get foodborne illness. Bacteria tend to reproduce most quickly when the temperature is warm, when there's some moisture, and when there's a medium to grow on. Food, especially meat and poultry, can be an ideal medium for the growth of bacteria. In a warm, moist environment, a few bacteria can quickly multiply to dangerous levels in as little as two hours. Honey, are you all right? Annie, did you have a question? 
Excuse me, Miss Temple? Did you have a question about foodborne illness? How can we tell if food is dangerous? That's a good question. You can't see harmful bacteria with the naked eye. Contaminated food doesn't necessarily smell or taste bad. And if you suspect it's contaminated, you should never taste it anyway. But there are several procedures we can follow to make sure the food is safe to eat. The most basic of these procedures is to keep food out of the danger zone. If you're sick, go to the nurse. Leave me alone. The danger zone is a range of temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, within which harmful bacteria tend to reproduce most quickly. Eating food left in the danger zone, at room temperature for instance, for over two hours can result in food poisoning. Food that is meant to be served cold, such as chicken salad and milk, should be kept under 40 degrees until it's served. Hot foods, like roast beef, should be cooked to a safe internal temperature and then held above 140 degrees until it's served. Today we're going to watch a videotape on safe food preparation. Annie, will you get the blinds, please? Stay with her. I'll be right back.
She ate some beef yesterday. It might have been contaminated. Uh, well, if it's foodborne illness, she may get worse. Fever, nausea, diarrhea. I'll send someone for the nurse. Annie, you were right. We can't let this happen to anyone else. Just think about getting better right now. Nobody takes this seriously. Nobody thinks it can happen to them. And you've got to make them listen. If anyone was going to listen to me, it was Charlie. He was the president of the science club and lived across the street from me. But he didn't think he could ever be in danger. And like everyone else, he thought he was too smart. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Annie. Hi, Mrs. Shaw. Sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. You had a rough day. Or at least Bonnie did. Bonnie's mother called me and told me what happened. Yeah, Annie couldn't even finish her lunch. Oh, would you like to stay for dinner, Annie? There's plenty of barbecue chicken. Thanks, Mrs. Shaw, but I don't have much of an appetite tonight. Oh, I can understand that after seeing Bonnie that way. Maybe I can change your mind while I clean up this kitchen. You're volunteering to clean up the kitchen? Are you feeling all right? Sure, Mom. Just go out and barbecue. Okay, I'm not going to argue. And Charlie was going to show me just how smart he was. Okay, the potential problem here is cross-contamination. The raw chicken can contain a harmful bacteria called salmonella. Right. You have to make sure that whatever touches the raw chicken, the cleaver, the cutting board, or even human hands, never touches the cooked chicken or anything else you serve. And the surest way to do that is to immediately clean everything that has come in contact with the raw chicken. First, throw away the chicken scraps. Then, wash the utensils in soap and hot water. And there was no doubt, he knew all the basic rules. Unlike Bonnie, he had paid attention in class. Use a scrub brush to make sure you remove any food particles that may get stuck in crevices in the board. Clean the counter with soap and water. The water should be as hot as you can stand it. Finally, thoroughly wash your hands with soap and hot water. But just knowing the rules wasn't enough if he didn't believe their... Unwashed hands are as dangerous as unwashed utensils. Congratulations, Charlie. You get an A. Figures, you're good at tests. Well, the problems aren't that difficult. And the solution isn't that simple. Food poisoning isn't just a problem in a textbook. If you think it is, you're putting yourself in danger. Okay, calm down. I'll handle it. But Mrs. Shaw was putting the barbecue chicken back in the pan that held the raw chicken. You better, or you're going to be in for a bad night. Isn't this a little fancy for barbecue chicken, huh? Well, I thought I'd surprise you. But the ambulance in Charlie's driveway was real. It was a bad omen. Charlie was still in bed the night of the science fair dinner. We settled on a potluck supper, with each student preparing a dish. Hey, Katie, we need you in the back. I'll be back in a minute. The power had gone out so many times, I wasn't sure any of the food was safe to eat. But at least the exhibits looked good. Over two million bacteria can live on one square centimeter of human skin. That's about the size of the colored part of your eye. Each bacteria has these structures, cytoplasm, cell membrane, and cell wall. Still, it was hard to be optimistic. I really got to hand it to you kids. This buffet dinner was a great idea. Sure, Roscoe. You're on the gravy train. Our pants bringing all this food, and you eat it. Hey, I'm just providing a public service. You've been doing it for hours. I'm what you might call your first alert food poison detector. I get sick, you know you got problems. What happened to that ham salad? That was really good. We put it away. We're not sure that it's safe to eat. Nice. Bacteria are classified by shape, and their three basic shapes are spheres, rods, and spirals. 
Over 3,000 different types of bacteria have been identified. That's a very good exhibit. Why, thank you. Oh, is it yours? Yes, it is. Tell me, how did you become interested in bacteria? Well, it began with a personal experience. We have a problem, don't we? Buffets are always a problem. We try to keep hot food hot, cold food cold, but if you're not real efficient, something's going to end up in the danger zone too long. It's hard to be efficient on a night like this. It's just about impossible. Come on, I'll show you. It's important to keep cold food cold. Temperatures under 40 degrees Fahrenheit slow down the growth of harmful bacteria. We told our parents to use shallow containers. That's a good idea. Containers like this can be cooled quickly, so that food is less likely to be in the danger zone too long. But the power has gone off three times already. We better check the temperature of this food. See, this chicken salad is at 65 degrees when it should be 40 degrees. We can't be sure any of the food in this walk-in is safe to eat. that's meant to be served hot should be reheated to 165 degrees and then held above 140 degrees in a warming tray or on a steam table. We followed the guidelines, Miss Temple, to the letter. I know you did. But when the power goes off, there's not much you can do. Look, this is nearly at room temperature. Will we have to cancel the dinner? I don't want to. But the power's been off at your parents' houses, too. Who knows how much of this food has been in the danger zone too long. But mistakes in cooling and reheating food are the most common causes of foodborne illness. I know how we can serve a dinner that's absolutely safe. But one of us will have to go and talk to Charlie. I'll go. And we'd need a car. I can drive. I'll leave Mr. Melrose in charge. OK, here's what I have in mind. The most important thing was to find a part of town where the power hadn't gone out in the storm. Gee, this rain is awful. I can hardly see a thing. Judging's almost over. You're not ready to serve. What gives? You ate all the food, Roscoe. Baloney. Where's Miss Temple? She went out. She wasn't sure the food we have is safe to eat. I've been eating this food all day, and I'm not sick. You also have been touching it with your dirty hands. Probably contaminated. Hey, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to go talk to Melrose about this. Miss Temple better hurry up. you told me what's going on i'm not sure the food we have is safe to eat there there huh, huh? see what i told you huh? i'm not saying that the food doesn't taste good
could. I'm sure it does. But the power has gone out four times, and we can't be sure that the food hasn't been in the danger zone for too long. Oh, I've been tasting that food all day, and I feel fine. She's just stalling. Come on, let's chow down, huh? Take it easy, Roscoe. Chow down on this. It's hot and fresh from the oven. There's nothing wrong with the food we already have. Nothing? Nothing at all. Roscoe, are you all right? I better take a look at him. Pizza, anyone? Yeah! Very good. I see you got here on time. And not soon enough for Roscoe. Did anyone else eat from the buffet? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to check. Then we'll have to discard all the food the parents brought. Okay. Have some pizza. We'll be here a while. Let's go, gang. Time to hit the road. There's half a meatball pizza left. Throw it away. It's been in the danger zone too long. Well, we did pretty well tonight, except for Roscoe getting sick. <laughs> Everybody else is okay. You did a great job, but don't get overconfident. We may have one today, but Fester doesn't ever give up. Which is why we have to remember that bacteria can be dangerous, and bacteria are everywhere. So we have to follow a few basic rules. To avoid cross-contamination, keep work areas and utensils clean. Follow the two-hour rule. Never leave food in the danger zone for more than two hours. Make sure you cook all food thoroughly, especially meat and poultry. Use small, shallow containers to cool food rapidly. Don't leave food in the danger zone. You can prevent foodborne illness if you follow the rules every day. If you don't, I'll send someone to the nurse. you might get a visit from someone you really don't want to meet. There.